Right now at four, we are hearing from a mother who is broken hearted, still in mourning after the fatal overdose death of her daughter. And today, the two people charged in connection with her death were in court. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones spoke with her and joins us now live in Providence with the reaction. Chelsea. Well, guys, this is Toki. Her mother tells me that she became addicted to cocaine during the pandemic and then one bad batch killed her only daughter. And I don't blame her. Pictures laid across the kitchen table, a stark symbol of sadness. She got herself into a situation that I guess she couldn't get out of. Janet Pridemore says her daughter Toki Zamarilli died after being sold cocaine laced with something else. These are the two people arrested in connection to her death. Walik Morrison and Christina at Asi. Both are facing several drug charges, but only Morrison is facing a drug charge resulting in death. The two were in court Wednesday. No, I'm not happy. Morrison is being held without bail, but a C was released on personal recognizance and placed on home confinement. Is there any message to the people responsible for selling her the cocaine that killed her? Well, I'm so angry, so I can't give you that message. Sunflowers are her favorite flower. Purple is her favorite color. You'll see purple in there somewhere. Janet wants people to know her daughter was somebody, not just another overdose victim. She's not dumb. She's very smart. Graduated high school, went to college. She did all that. She thinks the punishment should be stiffer for drug dealers so that no one else has to go through what she is. The justice system in the, this country is not strong enough. Now, Toki leaves behind two children, a husband, two brothers, and obviously her mother. And her mother tells me that they're all taking it day by day. As for Morrison and C, they both have court dates set for June. Live in Providence, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News. And then the next thing you know, she's doing this. She never did it prior to that. It was just bad times for everybody. A mother shattered by the loss of her daughter. She says the pandemic thrust her daughter into a cocaine addiction and it eventually killed her little girl. Today, the people accused of selling her daughter a deadly dose of laced cocaine appeared in court. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones was there and joins us now live with the details. Chelsea. Shannon Walik Morrison and Christina Ad Ali both faced a judge on several drug charges today. One of them was held, the other was released with conditions. But the mother of the victim in this case is not happy. I was freaking out. It was like impossible. That is what Janet Pridemore felt when she learned her daughter was dead. Even though she said I have it under control, it came around and took the control away from her. She tells me her daughter Toki Zamorelli developed an addiction to cocaine as the pandemic was raging. Pridemore says back in January, Toki was sold laced cocaine, and these two, Walik Morrison and Christina at Asi, are charged in connection. Police say back in January, while searching Morrison's apartment, they found a variety of drugs, including marijuana, cocaine, fentanyl, and pills. The justice system in the, this country is not strong enough not powerful enough. Both are facing a slew of drug charges, but only Morrison is facing a drug charge resulting in death. But Pridemore wants people to know her daughter was more than a drug user. Well, number one, she was beautiful, but she had a heart of gold. She made you laugh. Everybody loved her. Toki leaves behind a husband, two kids, brothers, and her mom, and they're angered by this loss. Morrison is being held without bail, but a C was released on $10,000 personal recognizance and placed on home confinement. Live in Providence, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.